Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura 123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications and then you can see when I've uploaded new content and when I'm doing live streams. Okay, so today is Wednesday and I'm now off work for two weeks for the Christmas holiday, which is great. Like, it is fantastic. I'm so excited and so happy about having some time off work. I can just kind of chill and relax and, and keep nice and calm and positive and all that jazz. But also, it's going to give me a chance to get some filming done because I'm quite behind with my filming schedule for these uh, YouTube channels. And also, like, do stuff around the house that I need to do, like tidying up, sorting things, that kind of thing. Um, just kind of, yeah, reading, watching films, just, yeah, just enjoying the time off, basically. Uh, today is going to be quite a busy day. I've got a lot of things that I want to do and I need to do. Um, so carry on watching to find out, you know, what things I do and where I go. Um, the first thing I do, though, after filming this little bit of the kind of intro to this video is the Christmas present wrapping. Um, I'm dreading it. I'm, I'm literally dreading doing it. I hate Christmas present wrapping. It's just... Oh, I start off okay. I'm like, oh, this is nice, you know, and then I start to get irritated and stressed. Um, I have like an issue with the sellotape dispenser. Like, <laughs> it's just like, ooh, um, I'm not very good at wrapping. I do try my best, but it's ju it just doesn't go to plan. So anyway, I have to do that. I'm going to do it as a video as well. Um, so then if you want to see what I got uh, presents for people and stuff and see my awful wrapping uh, that will be a separate video uh coming in the next few days kind of thing uh so i am going to film myself doing a bit of that um i need to go to town today got to get a few bits and pieces i want to get some nail varnish remover um but a special one or some form of oil or something basically i've been wearing these press on nails obviously i haven't got them on now um <laughs> and the other day i had someone and they were so nice they looked really like lovely they're really long and really nice design um and then i went to get them off and unlike other uh, press-on nails that I've been wearing recently, I would just pull them off, no problem. But these ones were like literally freaking stuck on there. And I was like, mm, like to a point where I was having to rip, rip them off. And it was very painful. Um, and after they'd come off, I was like, oh my God, you know, I've, I'm really worried that I've like damaged my nails. But luckily, very luckily, I hadn't damaged my nails. They look okay. But um, I don't want to keep doing that with the press-on nails that I've still got. Um... So I've been asking around on, on Twitter and stuff, seeing what people suggest. And yeah, some people have said oil, some form of oil with hot water um, or special nail polish remover, etc. So I want to try and get some of that or something to help today. Uh, I want to go to Next because I'm after some new trainers and apparently they sell sketches there. I didn't know that, but uh, on their website it says they do. So we'll see. If not Next, I can go up to like Sports Direct or something. But um yeah, me and Nathan plan on doing a lot more kind of walk-in next year. And for Christmas, I actually got him some Skechers trainers. And they're really good. Like, they look really nice. They've got memory foam in them. They're special for, like, walk-in. Um, whereas my cheapy kind of trainers from Primark, yeah, they look cool and stuff. And they're cheap. But in honesty, like, they're not great support for the feet. And I do kind of end up with painful feet if I've walked a lot. So um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get some Skechers as well. So I've seen these lovely black and gold ones. Um, because my old trainers that I've been wearing for literally years, like literally years, um, they you know, they're cool looking, but they're the colouring on them. They're like light blue, light pink, black, white, and they only go with like certain things I wear. So I thought if I got kind of a, like a more subtle colour, like the black and gold, um, it would kind of go with more things and look a bit smarter as well. So anyway, I'm looking in there, um, if not sports direct, as I say, um, I can get them online. But I don't know what size I am because unlike Nathan, who knows what size he is in any shop or whatever with his shoes, I'm not like that. Uh, sometimes I'm a size five, then I'm a size four. I'm even a size six sometimes. So I need to go into somewhere to try them on. Um, so that's the plan. And yeah, I just need to get a few little bits and pieces. I've got a list on my phone of stuff because I know what I'm like, I'll forget. I'll get out and I'll forget what I need to get. So I always have a little list um i need to go to argos actually as well I just remembered that i've got to pick up my uh christmas present that my mum's got me um yeah she's uh treated me to a water flosser uh it's been ordered i've just got to go and collect it so you still use like 
dental floss like the wire thing um but you use it with it as well so you can have both and i'm just really trying to improve my my, my whole kind of teeth thing um i've got my electric toothbrush now which is great um but i'm still struggling with the floss and stuff and the you know in between the teeth so um yeah i keep seeing adverts for this water flosser and i looked it up and read some reviews and yeah anyway so that's what i'm getting today i've got to collect it i can't use it obviously until christmas but i'm going to collect that today um so yeah i need to do something else but i can't remember but anyway <laughs> i hope you enjoy the video i'm gonna stop blabbering on now i need to watch made in chelsea soon because i can't wait it was a really good episode last week very juicy and full of drama um I need to have my breakfast as well i need to tidy up this kitchen i'm not going to show you because it's just awful there's plates everywhere and and yeah it's it's not it's messy so i need to tidy this up i'm gonna go and feed the squirrels as well um i can see one on the tree out there so i know they're about <laughs> i love my squirrels in the garden if you're a regular viewer you'll know how much i adore and um you know make a fuss of my squirrels i go and get them nuts actually no sorry i was gonna say i don't know if i need to buy new nuts hmm. um yeah so i feed them and yeah talk to them <laughs> that sounds really odd but anyway uh so carry on watching and uh yeah squirrels i've got some nuts squirrels let's see if there's any about i saw one on the tree so they are around <laughs> well the nuts are there for them and they want them my neighbors must think i'm so crazy i literally just stand out in my stays going squirrels <laughs> Nope. Maybe, maybe the squirrel is waiting till I've gone away. Oh well, okay. So down here are the presents that I've got to wrap. No! <laughs> um, in this bag, there's some stuff for Nathan. Um, this bag I think should be my dad's and his partner Jan. <laughs> I've got my dad an Elvis washing up brush. <laughs> He's going to be like, what on that for? No, he's going to love it. He loves Elvis. Um, got that for Jan. Bayless and Hardin set. These slippers, by the way, they're so soft. Ooh, they're lovely. Um, got my dad and Jan some books as well. I'm going to show everything, by the way, in the separate video. So watch that if you want to see more. Um, oh, and this is for my friend Lisa. This is what I've got. Um, it's that hot water bottle that you put on your feet. It's got like feet bits like slippers but a water bottle anyway um so yeah that's um got to get wrapped up she saw mine and really wanted one <laughs> more books over there and stuff for nathan and yeah <sighs> lots of wrapping to do i thought i'd uh, just quickly show you our christmas tree i have shown it in previous vlogs but if you hadn't seen those vlogs you wouldn't have seen it obviously it's not lit up at the moment um but yeah that is the Christmas tree decorated the uh, the bookcase and stuff as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so everything is done now. Everything is wrapped. All I've got to do, um, I've got to put some bows on, which I've got in that box there. So, but everything is kind of wrapped up and in their bags for whoever they're for, etc. That was very stressful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, just relax on the sofa. Just for a few minutes. Um, I don't know how anyone enjoys doing that wrapping thing. I don't. <laughs> I ran out of paper just at the end as well. I was like, no! But I managed to get the last present done, so that's good. So, yeah, all I've got to look for now is um, some, like, just bits and pieces. Like, little silly things for Nathan for his little uh, Christmas Eve box. I just spoke to my mum on the phone as well. Because um, she kept telling me that she wants for Christmas is uh, lottery tickets and scratch cards. She doesn't want anything else. And she just rung me, asked how I was getting on with all the wrapping and stuff. And um, she was like, actually, I've changed my mind. Apart from a few lottery tickets, I'd also like some makeup. I was like, okay. Um, so, yeah, I've got to take in her foundation and her blusher. And she wants the exact foundation, which I think is L'Oreal. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's on the thing. And the blusher is, well, she's not bothered about the brand of blusher, but she just wants a similar colour. So I've got that. It's a collection one um so yeah i'm gonna try and grab that today when i'm out um it took me longer than it should have to do the wrapping because i was filming it as well remember so i kept i kept messing up 
my actual filming um, and messing up the wrapping. So it's a bit of a disaster. But anyway, it's all done. Oh, so stressful. So now I'm going to go upstairs, get dressed, get ready to go out. Um, I am going out later than I wanted to, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to kind of hurry up, you know, get ready now and, and kind of, you know, get what I've got to get. Okay, before I get ready, I forgot that I had to write out this Christmas card. Um, I'm doing a Christmas card exchange. Uh, how pretty is this card? It's very sparkly. Um, yeah, it's part of the uh, Reindeer Readathon that I'm doing all of December. And uh, it's really fun. I'm enjoying it. You get all different, like, booked prompts, um, like all Christmas-themed prompts that you have to read certain books for. And, yeah, I've, I've done most of the prompts. I think I've got one left, so I'm quite proud of myself. It's the first kind of big readathon I've, I've participated in. But, anyway, um, at the very beginning, they asked you, you know, do you want to be part of the Christmas card exchange? So I'm going to send a card to someone random, and someone random will send me a card. I thought it was quite cute. So I was like, yeah, I'm up for that. Um, so I signed up, gave me a dress and everything. Um, only problemo is it's now the 15th, and the addresses for who we have to send the cards to were literally just emailed to us a couple of days ago. I think it was like the 12th. Now, there's no way this card is going to get to someone in Texas who I've got to send to a woman called Kathleen. Um, yeah, the cards, the cards have got to get there by, like, Christmas. It's not going to happen all the way from the UK to Texas. Um, it's just not going to happen. The post is delayed here in the UK, let alone, like, sending it abroad. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit like, oh, you know, I know that the person doing the readathon and stuff, like, they must be really busy. There's a lot of people involved in the Christmas card exchange and the whole readathon read -thon thing is quite busy and lots to do. And I appreciate that totally. But from my point and other people who are doing the card exchange, I think if this was going to be done and they knew that probably a lot of people would want to participate in this, they kind of should have started a bit earlier. Um, maybe that first week so people could have started sending the cards as quick as they can because like it's just not going to happen so I'm going to send this card I've got to pay out um, all the way to America which is fine because like I signed up for the Christmas card thing and it could have been someone in UK or abroad and that's fine um, it's not going to send too much that you know cost too much to send a card but my 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 problemo is that it's just too late to have given the addresses out to people so this card's probably not going to turn up till like January <laughs> And someone's going to be like, oh, I didn't get my card from the readathon. But I have sent it, but it, it won't get... Anyway, I'm stop moaning, Laura, sorry. Um, I have PMT, so I'm a bit irritable. But do you know what I mean? Am I wrong here? I, I don't mean to be bitchy, but like, I just think it should have been done a bit earlier. Um, anyway, so what should I put? Um, I don't know this person, it's a bit awkward. So I'll just put happy, happy Christmas. You can't even see what I'm writing, can you? Hold on. Oh, hold on. I'll pull that down. There we go. Happy Christmas. Even though you won't get it to January. <laughs> Lots of uh, hugs. I always put hugs on things. Uh, Laura. Um, maybe I need to put like fellow bookworm or something. Fellow book worm. It's really rubbish, isn't it? I write like a child when I'm writing quick. Um, I'm in a rush because I want to get out. Um, hello, Kathleen. Happy Christmas. Lots of hugs. Laura, fellow bookworm. I should put from the Reindeer Readathon or something. I'll put it up here randomly. Reindeer. Is it door? Reindeer Readathon. And a heart. In <laughs> case she doesn't know who the hell I am. Um, maybe I'll just add some little, I don't know, happy reading. Is that, that's all right, isn't it? Happy reading, happy holidays. Um, I should put that on my YouTube channels, really, in case she wants to check me out. She might be a new viewer. I am on, oh, it's shaking the table, sorry. I am on YouTube. Um, Minx Laura. Minx Laura, one, two, three, ASMR. And Minx, Laura, one, two, three. Oh, got it, one of it. Um, one, two, three is wacky. Oh, no. <laughs> wacky world. Oh, get that D in. Yeah, done it. Okay. In case she wants to, uh, you know, find out who I am. She might not. I don't know. Um, there we go. Right. Okay. So I've got to get her a dress and stuff. I can do that. But is that all right? There you go. Would you be happy if you got that random Christmas card from me? I've dropped the envelope. Hold on. It's got red envelope. So, yeah. Okay, right now I can get ready.
I was just getting ready to go, looked out the window and saw the squirrels. So I thought I'd give them a few extra nuts and get some footage of them because they're super cute. Hello, squirrel. There's another one at the back. <laughs> He's got a nut hanging out of his mouth. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm not going to steal your nut. I'm the one who give them to you. <laughs> I get a little bit scared. It's okay. It's okay. I'm the one that gives you the nuts. Right. There we go. He's going up the tree. I'll just throw him out. <laughs> See if he comes down getting him. He's on the, uh, he's on the fence. Sometimes they're a bit more confident than others. Oh, it's a horrible smell of burn in the air. Oh no, there's not a cat on the fence, is there? Or is that a bit of... No, it's alright. I thought it was a cat. It's okay. Is it a cat? I hope it's not a cat. I'm going to protect the squirrels. Ah, he's got his nut. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cat. I could see cat ears right at the top of the um, shed there. Making sure he doesn't go off to the squirrels. Do you like my new face mask? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I got it in um, a charity shop, but it is brand new originally. Um, I think it's from Claire's Accessories, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got like Christmas lights on. Feels really comfortable, actually. It fits well. It's not too big, not too small. Just... Just comfortable. Right, so I am out, out and about in town. Uh, a few places to go. So yeah, I don't need my jacket today. It's not actually that cold out here. So I've got my uh, Garfield sweater on <laughs> and it's quite a thick uh, sweater. So I don't need a jacket. Just hope it doesn't rain because then I would get drenched without a jacket. But anyway, we're not thinking of rain. Hopefully there will not be rain to worry about. Um, anyway, so let's go shopping. Right, first place I'm going to go is Card Factory. I need to get a birthday card and a Christmas card. It's really weird. I've come into the town centre and I can still smell that weird burning smell that I smell out in the garden. Whew. That's what uh, Nathan had yesterday. I treated him to it. Uh, German sausage. <laughs> uh, what is it? A Brockburst. Brockwurst. Brockwurst. Anyway, I got him one yesterday. He said it was okay, but not as good as he thought it was going to be. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> Random information about sausages. So, I've got Clinton cards over there, but they're really expensive. I've got Card Factory over there, which are quite cheap. Where do you think I'm going to go? <laughs> of course I'm not going to go in there. I'm going in there. Okay, that's good. There's not a big queue. Yesterday I was in it, and there was a massive queue. Um, right, I want a special friend card, a Christmas one. I cannot find a friend card anywhere. Oh, literally, I'm looking. I cannot find one that says friend. <sighs> I might just get like um, a family card because she's got obviously a partner and her kids and stuff. So, okay, I've just I've got this one actually. Have yours, elf. Very Merry Christmas. There we go. We'll get we'll get this one. And now I need to get a birthday card. I would explain more um, about the birthday card thing when I get home. Because it's a very special birthday card actually. So I want a really nice birthday card. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. And as I say, when I get home, I'll tell you all about who I'm sending the card to and why it's so special. Okay, so heading into Super drug with a very loud, noisy door. <laughs> okay. I've got to look for my mum's foundation and blusher in here. Then I've got to get Nathan's uh, might have menthol uh, cigarette things. Okay, this is mum's one. I've got to find this now. Oh, okay. Right, that, yeah, that's the same, isn't it? What colour is it, though? It's called Sa Sable Sand. Right, I'm at the collection bit. But I don't know where the um, blushes are. Can you see any blushes? Oh, hold on. Is that blusher? There we go. Yeah, it's safe to say she needs a new one. <laughs> Look at this. It's all broken. 
Um, right, it's called Bashful, number two, Bashful. Okay, oh God. Um, I don't know if that's, no, they're different, aren't they? I thought that was it, but that's called Cheeky, so it's not that one. What about this one? That one's called Trouble, it's not that. Oh, I found it, Bashful. So that looks kind of similar? I don't know, because that one's all broken up. I don't know. Well, it's got the same name and number. It might have just change the packaging for when she got this one. So I'm just going to grab it. So much makeup. And I'm looking for Nathan's Motive Menthol. I can't remember where they are. I think they're the next aisle, actually. Are they over here somewhere? I found them. I found them. The refills. I'm going to have a little look in game again, just in case there's anything extra for the Christmas presents for Nathan. Maybe like a little key ring or something. Yeah, there's nothing in there really. Um, I'm going to try Menkind at the top of the high street. They do little gadgets and like gamey things and stuff so we'll try there oh cafe neuro actually i'm not allowed coffee at the moment because i've got ulcers so i said to nathan i'm gonna have a whole week of not having any coffee because coffee like caffeine is, is not great for the ulcers and of course it's a hot drink which also isn't great so i'm kind of steering clear of um the coffee and stuff so no cafe neuro no starbucks <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be done it's got to be done actually when I get home I must do my um, Corsadale mouthwash as well actually actually I can look in um, the works as well they might have some little bits and pieces maybe I haven't been in the works for ages oh my god look at that it's a coin drop machine he loves those oh my god and it's got like an Egyptian artwork on it look oh my god I wonder how much that is got to find it now I don't even know where it is okay I just asked there at the back so let's have a look if we can find them oh look lots of books 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 no I'm not gonna look there yet that have been a minute <laughs> that have been a minute um see look they've got lots of like random gadgets and stuff and more books obviously right what did she say they were at the back I can't see them Oh, that's what I needed, actually. Some. Oh, I'm not paying two pound fifty. I'll get that in Poundland. The glue. It's cute. <laughs> I'm looking for this coin thing. Where is it? Oh, never find anything. No. Ah, here it is. <laughs> right, okay, so it is twelve pound. Well, you can get two things for twenty quid, but anything that's put me off is. I really think it's cool. However, look at the one they've got on display. It's all stuck. Look, they're wedged in there. I suppose there's a way you can get them out, but like, do you know what I mean? It's pretty cool though. It's like an actual little machine, but mm, but maybe you just pull it apart and then give it a shake about, I don't know. I'm also thinking this could be cool for my, um, <laughs> I love the way that it's for Nathan, but I'm going to use it, uh, the TBR game. Because I could like wrap round or put a little sticker on each coin, um, and then that could be my book of the month or something chosen from here, like Kit Kats can read does with her, um, you know, a grabber machine. Hmm, that is pretty cool though. He would enjoy that because he's a big kid like me. <laughs> Lots of like you know, oddly satisfying toys in here as well the pop and flip and uh, spinners and stuff. Slime, lots of slime, twist slime. Slime. It's a bit goopy though, it looks. Hmm. By the way, I know slime is supposed to be goopy, but <laughs> some some is goopier than others, you see. Uh, what's this? Unicorn putty. By the way, this isn't for Nathan, this would be for the ASMR channel stuff. Um oh wow, look at that. A mega fidget fun box. Oh, 15 quid, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to spend that much. There's a squishy, squishy banana thing. 
don't know why I found that funny. Oh, so we got here tie dye stuff. I used to do tie dye um, when I was at school. I used to do it on like t shirts and stuffs. Lots of book series here. Oh, I got the raisin. I've read most of those. Um, oh, a remote controlled rat. That's just really random. Doctor Who stuff there. You know the drill. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Top Gun. Nathan loves Top Gun. It's his favourite film of all time, but I don't think he'd want it. Like an aeroplane of it. To make. Mind you, he does like making models and stuff. Oh, wow. Look. Maverick. <laughs> oh, I don't know, actually, because he would quite enjoy making that. Yeah, he'd really enjoy that. And, um, yeah, Top Gun is, his, as I say, his favourite film. This box is nicer, I think. I don't know the difference between them, obviously. But that just looks better, doesn't it? I think he'll really enjoy that because he loves all the um, the Airfix stuff and that. Yeah. And he loves Top Gun. And we could put it in, on I don't know, in the bedroom or something. Kind of probably get like a little stand with it. Now I'm like, should I get that? Or should I get that? <laughs> but then he would really like this as well. And I could use this as well. <laughs> I wish they did these on the two for 20 quid. It'd be better for me. <laughs> but they don't. But then it is Christmas. I've got no one else to spoil, have I, really? Um, hmm. Okay, so I'm having a little think about this. And I do need to be careful of my money, so it's got to be one or the other. And as much as I think Nathan would think this is really fun, uh, I think we're better off just going to the seafront in the arcades and actually playing with the real machines. Um, really, he'd probably enjoy it for like 10 minutes and then just sit up in the loft in a box, not used. Whereas this, he would really enjoy making, so he'd get more out of it in that respect. And we can put it in our bedroom on a little stand or something, and it is his favourite film. So, yeah, I'm just going to grab this one. If I had more cash, I would have got him both, but i got to be careful. Um, having a quick look at the books here, because they are quite cheap in here. Ooh, Ruthless Women, love that book. One of my favourite books, actually, of, um... Of this year loved it wow they are beautiful covers look at that that is really pretty oh my god i just read the back of this book um it sounds amazing i'm gonna grab it for myself Oof. it's about like um, a spirit medium which you know i'm into all that and like spirit photography and stuff two pound i'll get that i did like the look of this one but it is a series and i've already got lots of series that i haven't read yet so That is a really lovely cover. Look at that. Days of Blood and Starlight. Lainey Taylor. I reckon that's going to be a series. Yeah. Number two. Love a bit of Elton John. And Beatles as well, I love. Okay, this book here is very important. And if you carry on watching, you'll find out why uh, this Lady Lily is very important to me. And um, she'll feature more in this video in a little bit. So carry on watching. So this is the book um, that her and her grandson have done. Lily's Promise. Carry on watching to find out more. Okay, just going to have a little quick look in Menkind. See if they've got anything in here. Any random bits. <laughs> well, I keep seeing about this. Mm, it looks very painful though. Oh, hello. I had one like this ages ago and it, it actually really hurt me. Didn't help, it just hurt me. It looks cool though, relaxing to watch. Vibrating neck massage. Electronic arcade duck gallery. <laughs> There's one of our Christmas trees here in the high street. Oh, I'm just near Starbucks and I really fancy a drink. <laughs> no, not going, not going there. Got to get these ulcers better. And having hot drinks and coffee and all that, it's not going to do it. Oh, it's difficult, <laughs> but I'm not going to have it. Just heading into Victoria Plaza few bits and pieces to get in here and then I am done 
and get back home. There's a new Nukes Top 5 on YouTube that we're going to watch. So I'm looking forward to that. Didn't think he'd have a new uh, video this week, but yeah, he has. So I love it. If you don't know Nukes Top 5 is, he does all like paranormal, ghost caught on camera videos and stuff. So happy that there is a new uh, video. I'll show you the other Christmas tree now. Okay, here it is. That's the second one. <laughs> we have two trees in South End. There we go. What one do you like best? Let me know in the comments. I like the other one because it's bigger, but I like this one because it's more sparkly. There's something about this one. It's more majestic. Right, I want to go into next, which is something I don't ever say. Um, <laughs> but I do want to go in there. Because apparently they are selling sketchers, trainers. So let's have a look if that is true. They've got them on their website, so we'll see. I have no idea where they are. All right, okay, so bad and maybe good news. They don't do them in store, they only do them online, which is kind of pointless because I can get them cheaper online on another like website. Um, the reason I was coming in next to look for them was because I thought I could try them on, you know. Anyway, so she did say there's a, a German shoe shop up there. I can't say the name, is it? Oh, I can't, I'll have to get there and show you. I always have trouble pronouncing that shoe shop's name. Deutschmann or anyway we'll have a look when we get there um, but apparently they've started doing sketches whether that is true or not I don't know but I'm going to find out in a minute um, but first of all I just need to nip in to the one the only Poundland Poundland here we come we're going in yeah I can't actually remember what I need in here now I'm in here <laughs> I'll remember when I get in actually I've got a list on my phone um, I might have to have a little a little look at my little oh I know that shampoo should I get a little uh, basket? I think I should. Okay, so I've got some shampoo. I wonder if I should get Nathan a little body spray for Christmas. I know it's not very exciting, is it? But, you know, it's something to just, you know, put in <laughs> the little <laughs> Christmas Eve box. He uses it. It's a common thing in the UK to get men like smellies, you know. Um, right, let's have a look. I'm going to try this one for him. Uh, it just sounds nice. Gold, Lynx Gold. Uh, wood and fresh vanilla scent. Let's give that a go. He's probably going to be like, what do I want that for? <laughs> I'll be like, will you use it? I'm not going to look at the clothes. I don't need any clothes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I do love that though. Okay, so it's lucky. I was not meant to buy it because they haven't got my size. So, you know. These candles smell amazing. I've got that. Sequin throw. Okay, got the glue I was after, the PVA glue. There we go, pound in here. Oh, they've got the Christmas mug I was after. I literally looked for this and I couldn't find it. Now they've got it in. Aha! Uh -huh. So look, it's in the shape of a tree, Christmas tree. And you know that I do love a nice tree. Yeah! How much is it? Oh, two pound, that's good. Oh, I love that. So that was good, managed to get a nice few little bits and pieces. And I've got Nathan, his box of Ferro Rochers. When I saw them, I was like, oh, he loves those. So seven quid, but there's quite a lot in there. So that's quite cheap for them, a box that size. Anyway, I'm now in boots because I need to get, uh, mum wants some paracetamol and I need some paracetamol. So uh, basically I'm getting paracetamol, it's the end of that story. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the German shoe shop. Now we've got to try and say it, Deichmann, 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 Deichmann. <laughs> anyway, it's, I call it the German shoe shop, all right, it's easier. Oh, okay. Have they got any sketches? They're the white boots that I saw a little while ago and I freaking love them. Oh. But anyway, I think I'm just gonna ask at the till because otherwise I'll just be looking around for ages. Okay, so they are selling sketches, but they're men's. She said there's women's ones. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Not exactly the color I wanted. I want, um, well, they're quite nice actually. I did want black and gold. I'm sure there's a song called that. <laughs> But these are pretty cool. They're like, hmm, it's like navy and gold, like blue and gold. Oh, I like this bit here. I've got a nice grip, good grip. How much are they? 
44 quid so they are a little bit dearer but I wouldn't have to worry about postage and yeah what size three no I need a size five I think let's have a let's have a look okay so I'm at home now the time is half four uh, so it's out quite a while actually which was nice I wandered around the shops got bits and pieces um I have a banging headache sorry I'm moaning um a migrainey headache by the looks of it because it's over this side normally when I get a migraine it tends to stick to like one area and one side so it's at the moment it's right here above my eyebrow like my forehead bit and also it's kind of traveling excuse my gray hair I'm dying it this weekend um traveling from here all this side down to there um and without going into detail it is a hormonal migraine <sighs> so I've got some paracetamols here you can have a couple of those and if it's not got any better in a few hours i can have some norofen plus but i always try the paracetamol first because they're not strong but um anyway so that's exciting isn't it so i'm just having something to eat um not particularly enjoying it um this is really boring but i used to have co-op mashed potato all the time right if you're a regular viewer you'll know um and then i didn't i don't know i didn't like it so i changed and started having tesco's mashed potato and now i'm just i'm not enjoying this lately it's very like stodgy and thick and i don't know if you can see but you know what i mean it's not really fluffy it's just bleh, it's really thick and i've tried to like add um some floralite and i've tried to add some milk kind of mixing it up a bit and it's still really like thick um and i like my mashed potato to be quite fluffy and soft so i'm gonna possibly try co-ops again and see if their kind of flavor has improved a bit um so my mum's yawning obviously what i'm saying is really boring sorry about that uh, <laughs> but yeah so anyway i'm gonna eat sink and have some painkillers and then i have book club for one um really quickly because she hates hearing about books she doesn't she doesn't like reading i don't know how how can no one like reading um but this is the book i'm currently reading from the library it's medusa medusa the girl behind the myth by jesse burton and it is a retelling reimagining of um medusa's story so it's it's really interesting you know the woman with the snakes i'll ask me have you ever heard of medusa with the snakes no, that uh, snakes yeah okay so she's yeah um <laughs> but yeah so basically she was um a woman who was cursed and because she was so beautiful um she was cursed and it made her kind of not only have bloody scary snakes coming out of her head but also anytime she looked at a man they kind of froze to death and or got a rock or anyway so cut long story short really enjoying this and it's got really beautiful illustration oh, i've just dropped my bookmark that's annoying um it's got really beautiful illustrations in as well got it from the library so that will go back probably tomorrow because i'll get this done today and then my next book even though i have other books that are new and i do want to read um i think because it is december i promised myself in december i would read some christmas themed books so this is one that i picked up in a charity shop ages ago ready for december so i should really get round to some christmasy books this is called the cozy christmas tea shop and it's by carolyn roberts really cute little pretty cover um it just says will christmas at the cozy tea shop be a showstopper to remember from sleigh bells to wedding bells it's gonna be really cringe i know um but we'll see how i get on with that one but anyway yeah so after that i'm just gonna do some editing possibly um i've got a vlog from uh yesterday to edit and of course the video i done this morning of the wrapping the christmas presents that's got to be all edited i'll add some music in um and then tonight i've got a little bit more wrapping to do because i've got other bits and pieces today so they will be wrapped obviously anything for nathan will be kept away because i don't want him to, to you know spoil anything and see anything um what else are we doing tonight i can't remember if we were gonna yeah we're gonna watch nukes top five so a bit of ghosty stuff uh possibly a bit of mario kart i don't know if he fancies it hopefully he does because i do um but yeah so i'll see you in a bit so i'm just sitting reading medusa um i'm currently on page 155 so it'll be finished soon i reckon i'll get that done in about what 10 minutes 15 minutes and um, then i can take this back to the library tomorrow so like i'm gonna medusa? go there hmm? do you like medusa yeah Is i do nice yeah she's really sweet i feel really sorry for her yeah. like she went for an horrible ordeal and then she was cursed well, she doesn't have to brush her hair <laughs> think how much trouble you have brushing your hair what with me knots yeah yeah 
Well, the snakes, you don't really need to No, them. but it, it's quite scary having snakes. I mean, would you? Would yeah, it bother you? Her. No, but they, if they would attack you if I had them. Yeah, but I wouldn't mind having them myself. <laughs> Hold on, let me remember the page. Was it 155? Yeah. Because there's some really cool artwork in here. That's Athena. Well, according to their artwork. Yeah, that's their Athena. So she's the horrible one. She's cursed. She's on the cursed. There's some really beautiful artwork in here. Uh, look at that. <laughs> there's one I'm looking for with the snakes in. Snake here. Oh, there's a snake. There's a snake. Um, yeah, I do like her, by the way. Do you? Look at that. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. What do you reckon? It's good art. Look at all the little faces cool. of the snakes. That is pretty cool. Do you want a snake here? No. Okay. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's really good. Um, so yeah, oh, look. <laughs> There's the dog. But yeah, so I'm going to carry on reading, get this done, and then I will start my little Christmas <laughs> Christmas book. <laughs> Have you seen that? Oh, yeah, the cosy, the cosy Christmas, Christmas t-shirt. It's so not my thing, yeah. is it, really? It's not dark. It's not, no. you know, creepy or thriller. Uh, or... But I promised, didn't I, that I would read... Oh like cosy? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, like, I promised I'd read some Christmas, but I've and, still got a few as like well. Tea. I do like tea. Cup of tea? Cup of tea. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have... We watched, uh, what's it called, Nook's Top 5. What do you think of it today, the episode? A bit spooky. Wasn't as great as it could have been. No, but it was still good. But it's still new, it's still so it's down. always going to be better. No, I like Slap Dam as well. Nuke. But Nuke is better. Nuke is better. Um, what's my page? Oh yeah, but yeah, it was good. the The first one was my favourite. That girl who's like haunted in her apartment, so she moved out and yeah, then gets haunted again in a new place. Not much luck. No. So yeah, watch Nuke. Um, tonight. Got, uh, I'm going to have sausage rolls for dinner Ooh. with some mash. Are you jealous? Not particularly. Vegan but... sausage rolls. Oh, even more less reason than <laughs> Vegan sausage rolls. Um, and, oh, that's nice. I can't l no, show you because I'll get copyrighted, but we've got the TV on watching. Um, beautiful, cool. isn't it? Yeah. It's in Japan and it's all their Christmas lights in this little. I think it's in Tokyo. Oh, is it Tokyo? Mm -hmm. There's like little lights in the mm -hmm. trees mm -hmm. and there was a giant snow globe. Really, really nice. But I can't show you on the screen no. so I get in trouble. You just have to take our word for it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of playing a bit marrow, but I don't know if I fancy it now. Do you fancy it? Or not really? Not particularly. No, nah, because my headache's hurting me. I'm thinking it ain't good. We've got to do an Iceland order soon. We have the Christmas shopping order or? Yeah, Christmas and Bits and pieces. Well, <laughs> yeah, not just the Christmas. You know what I'm desperate for? What are you desperate for? Apart from you. Apart from me. A Black Forest Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly. Yeah, but you didn't want mm. the Iceland one. Oh, no, I don't want that log thing. I might look in our, uh, what was it, Lidl. Lidl. See, there's, or Sainsbury's. I just want, it's all I want. A just black give it to me. forest ghetto, but a squishy, softy one. Not one of those up, yeah. mind you, they are quite squishy, softy. Yeah. Like a cake. Yeah. Yeah. I've had this urge for one. And then this morning on the but TV, you know, they had gonna... they had a black forest ghetto on it's TV. not going to be as nice as that chocolate ghetto we have. What's that one? One from Bondi's. Oh, Joe. Mm. Well, we call it Joe. It's not called Joe. Why do we call it Joe? Because Joe Gatto. Oh, yeah. I was like, I can't even remember why we call because it. Yeah. Joe, Joe Gatto. It's from, from Impractical Jokers. Impractical Jokers. And it's the Gatto. So. It's a Gatto. Yeah, that was why. Okay, I feel silly now. All right. Yeah, no, that was nice, but it hasn't got any black cherry flavour. No, but it is delicious. But that brand, I wonder if they do a Black Forest Gatto. They because they're quite cheap, no. but they're really nice. Because I like their stuff. When they run out of that one, they all add was the Black Forest one, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, I might have a wander up to um, Londis. <laughs> Want to come tomorrow? A little wander? Let's go. To uh, get some Black Forest Gatto. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, I don't know, just chill tonight, really. I want to start the next book and maybe there's a show we can... We were watching a good show last night. It was really interesting about queuing on. Yeah. Weirdos. Absolute weirdos. Like, proper odd. It was a documentary where they yeah. interviewed people about it. Ooh. Um, 
Yeah, maybe there's something we can watch. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go for now. So I'll update you in a bit. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Trees, I don't know what I'm doing. That is beautiful. I wish I could show them, but I can't. <laughs> no. But they're basically all these beautiful trees have got like, well, Christmas lights Blue on them. Blue and white. Icicle lighted. Yeah, they're like icicles. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so it is dinner time, and I'm just going to put my dinner in the oven. I was going to have these ones, the no sausage rolls uh, from Plant Menu, but they are out of date. Uh, they've been in the freezer so long they're now out of date from September, which is really sad because I like these ones. But alas, they do have to go in the bin. Um, but do not fear, do not worry, because I do have these Linda McCartney uh, vegetarian sausage rolls and these are in date. <laughs> so I'm just going to put these in the oven. So I'm just going to put a couple in. And they take about 20 minutes. Right, so I'm going to end the vlog now. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to please click like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. That really does mean a lot to me. And uh, also check out my other channel, minxlaura123asmr. The link is down below for that. Um, as are all the links to my social media, so TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, so I had my dinner. We watched a bit of TV and just had a little kind of chit-chat together. And... Nathan is playing his Switch now, and I'm about to start a new book. So I finished Medusa, which was amazing. Like, it was really, really good. Beautiful artwork as well. I gave it a five stars uh, rating on Goodreads, so I'll take that back to the library tomorrow. I've got a few things to do tomorrow, including going to the library. I've got a couple of books to take back. But yeah, the book that I was going to read, the cosy Christmas tea shop thing, I started to read it, and I was like, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not, I don't know. I just know, I just know with certain books if I'm going to like them or not. And I just, I just didn't like it. So yeah, that's that one. Um, so the one I've chosen to read instead is this one here. It's by Joe Thomas and it's called Finding Love at the Christmas Market. Um, let me show you the cover because it is super, super cute. Look at this, Finding Love at the Christmas Market. This is adorable. Look, will her Christmas wish come true? Um, I literally love this cover so much. Um, it's just beautiful. <laughs> um, I just looked it up on Goodreads actually, because I marked it on my currently reading thing and it overall had a four star out of five. Most people would give it like quite a high mark. So that's a good sign. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to start. It looks a bit like a, a romance, a cozy winter, Christmassy romance, bit of a love triangle going on. Also some, a uh, group of pensioners, so yeah and obviously a christmas market <laughs> so yeah that is my current read i'm going to read that for a bit um i think nathan's going to put on another show at 12 um so i'll either watch that with him or carry on reading or maybe fall asleep on the sofa who knows who knows um anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye